Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Papa put his foot down to announce that as owner or no owner of the Excello Pictures Corporation, he was going to have his name mentioned in the making of the new picture, Sidney decided to change the name from Jake Bloom to Yasha Blumakoff, because he said Jake Bloom didn't uh, look so well in print. Listen to the echo. Yasha Blumakoff. Yasha Blumakoff. Papa. Papa. Papa, clam down. Clam down. Come down, she tells me. Why should you be getting all excited about Why should I be getting all excited? Why should I be getting excited? Mama, tell me something. What is your name? You know what it is, Papa. Why should you ask me what my name is when you're having troubles with the one you've got? Never mind. Never mind that. Your name is Rebecca Bloom, huh? You like it, huh? It's a very nice name, Papa. Why shouldn't I be liking it? All right, all right. So you think that Rebecca Bloom is a very nice name? All right. So while you are thinking it is a very nice name, along comes a mashigish lemil like that dope Sydney and changes it to something like, like... Mama, I can't even think of it without getting mad. Because I don't want my name changed. <laughs> then why should I have my name changed? For a long time, Jacob Bloom was a good name. A long, long time. I ran the knee pants business in New York when I was playing Jake Bloom. Yeah. I went on a vacation when I was playing Jake Blue. But now, now, all of a sudden, I gotta wear long hair and silk neckties and be a Yasha. <laughs> Just because Sydney and Harold think my real name don't look good in print. Papa, will you listen to me a minute? Will I listen? I will receive myself. I said, will you listen to me for just a little all minute? All right, all right, all right. For what? For what Today, should I listen? When I want you should listen to me, I have got something to say. You can't listen to me when I'm not saying nothing. All right, Becky, all right. Say what you've got to say. Papa. This whole thing is just like a salad. What? This whole thing is just like a salad. <laughs> oh, <baby. laughs> I not only have got a crazy son-in-law, but the craziness is catching. Yeah, it's catching my wife, too. I wasn't finished talking, Jacob. Don't hop in the middle of my conversion before I'm through saying what I started out to say. No, 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 no. I no. have to take a long time saying something because while I'm saying something that don't mean nothing, I'm thinking of something that does. And I will say it. You're saying you mean... You... Oh, uh, go ahead, Mama, go ahead. I'm spinning like a top. Then sit down on the chair before you get dizzy and fall over. All right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead. Explain that salad business, Mama, if you can. I can. I said the whole thing was like a salad. I, I right. heard you say that. Yeah. You take a piece of lettuce, you cut it up, and you put it on a plate. No, no. Maybe you add a little marsalis. Mayonnaise. Dressing. Add a little bit of dressing, and the lettuce is a salad. Not lettuce anymore, Jake. Mm. So... But you can still see the lettuce. So, so, so? Yeah. But if you're chopping the lettuce just a little bit fine and putting on a little fancier dressing, then you're giving it another name. Like the fancy French ones in restaurants. No, 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 no. So, instead of paying for the lettuce, you are paying for something with a very fancy name. And people like to pay for things with very fancy names. That's just like your name, Jake. Jake ain't fancy. Yasha is. So people will think because it's fancy, it's worth more money. And what does that got to do with me? It has got this to do with you. That underneath the fancy dressing and the fancy name, you are still lettuce. So, so now I'm lettuce? <laughs> oi, oi, I feel like a little worm that crawls on the lettuce. That's foolish, That's Papa. foolish. So they call you Yasha. But to me, to the girls, to your friends, you are still plain Jake Bloom, who's very lovely people. 
It's just like the old saying, who's got a name? The old saying is, what's in a name? But you're right. Who's got a name? Who? Who? I got two of them. The one is real and the other one is a phony. Just like Sydney and Harold. All right, Papa, all right. So you don't like the name and you don't have to keep it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it ain't something that costs you money that you gotta keep it whether you like it or not. Give it back. Yeah, yeah, give it back. Give it back. So, oh, who wants a name like Asha Blumikoff? <laughs> Sounds like something from, from, the, from old Russia. Maybe the next thing you know, the boys will be dressing you in a fancy uniform with gold brads down the front and epigrams on the shoulders. Mama. Huh? Mama, please, please, Mama, if you, if you love me, if you love me, you won't even mention that even in fun in front of the boys. Don't give them ideas like that. Because the first thing I know, the first thing I know, they'd have me walking up and down the street in a red uniform and carrying a sign to the... Jack. Oh. Oh. Jack, answer the door. Maybe it's Sidney coming back after the leather case he left. Yeah, he left his hat too. He left in a hurry, Papa. Mm -hmm. Just one more step and I would have caught him. Jack, answer it or whoever is at the door will think he ain't home. All right, Mama. All right, all right. Hi, Paul. Oh, hello, sir. Sir, is your husband with you? Sydney. Have you got more than one husband? Oh, don't be silly, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> don't be silly. That wouldn't be silly, Sarah. Having another husband to watch Sydney for me maybe wouldn't be a bad idea. Papa, you shouldn't say things like that to Sarah. Hello, darling. Hello, Ma. I just dropped in for a minute to pick up Sidney's briefcase and his hat. Uh -huh, I sent you to pick it up. And the car, <laughs> he yeah. hides behind a woman's skirt. Yeah, sure. Mama, don't you call me that name. Hey, what is all this? Sarah, come in the living room and sit down. We ain't pea girls if we should walk around in the hall. You too, Papa. Mama, please. Don't you ever call me that name again. Papa, I was just fooling. Yeah, you were just fooling. Well, yeah. That ain't no way to fool with me. Well, don't mind me. Go ahead and talk all around me. I... Sit down, darling. Sit down. Sarah, tell me something. Did Sidney tell you to come here after his hat and his briefcase? Why, yes. He said he was going to be too busy to drop by after them himself, so he asked me to... Well, I... Oh! What's he done now? He made Papa a bigamist. A what? He made Papa a man with two names. Well, that isn't a bigamist, Ma. A bigamist is a man with two wives, sometimes more. So a man with two names would have two wives, so what's the difference? Mama, Mama, please. Please, stop talking all this foolishness. Stop all that and tell, Sarah. Well, I, I would like to know, Sarah. Sydney has changed your papa's name from Jack Bloom to Yasha Blumakoff. What? So? So he didn't tell you? You didn't know, huh? Why, no, not at all. All I knew was that he said he had a little surprise for you. So that was it. Sarah, to your papa, it wasn't a surprise. It was a very big shock. It made him a nervous wreck. Yeah. Well, as, as a matter of fact, I like Yasha Blumakoff. What? It sounds airy, distinctive, like an artist's name. Like Paul. an artist's name? Uh, uh, my own daughter. My own daughter, too. My own daughter who was raised up with my name. Sarah, please don't ever say Jake, things like that. Re remember, huh, that the collar on the shirt is too tight anyway, and when you get mad, your neck gets bigger. Do you want to strangle your you, you Strangle more. He chokes. Uh, Papa, why don't you go in the bedroom and go to sleep for a little while? <laughs> go to sleep, huh? Just like that. You know what would happen if I went to sleep? I would have nightmares. Go ahead, Jake. It'll do you good. Maybe you'll think of something to do with the other name while you're sleeping. Ay, uh, Mama, you're talking foolishness again. Tell me something. Why should I go to sleep in the middle of the day? Because it's good for you. And besides, I want to talk to Sarah. Ah, you want to talk to Sarah, huh? You want to talk to Sarah? <laughs> well, can't you talk to her when I'm in the room? Papa, when I talk to her while you're in the room, we might mention Sidney's name. Ooh. And then you would both in, so go in the other yes, room, huh? No. All right. All right. Everybody is crazy. Everybody is... Say, what's the idea, Ma? Sarah, I'm going to tell you something. I want that you should talk to Sidney and tell him that this time is the straw stack on the camel's back. You mean that... I know what I mean. And so do you, darling. I know Sidney and Harold are good boys, but they get ideas that Papa don't understand. Oh, but Paul's a little old-fashioned, Ma. He's in a new business now and... Because he changes his business, should he change his name? Besides, your Papa ain't old-fashioned. He's just used to be doing things his own way. You gotta handle Papa like an automat. Diplomat. Never mind what I say wrong, Sarah. I want you should just listen. Well... All right, Ma, but, well, I still think that Yasha Blumikoff is, is a much better name for the movie business than Jacob Bloom. Mm -hmm. You do, huh? Why, sure, Ma. It's, uh, why? Well, it's, it's more dignified. It's, it's more imposing. Ah, so. All right, Sarah Dalton. You wait there a minute, huh? I will be right back. Well, what are you going to do? I just got something to show you. So you think that Yasha Blumikoff is more dignified? More imposing than the name Papa got from his Papa and Mama, yeah? Well, it, it certainly suits this business better. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Sarah, do you know what I'm holding in my hand? 
give it a good look. Why, <laughs> what on earth? It's a blank check. What's that got to do with all this? Sarah, give it a good look. Do you see the little line at the bottom of the check? No, I don't know what you... You do see the little line, though, huh? Of course. That's good, Sarah, that's good. Well, on that little line, somebody's supposed to put our name so that the one who's going to cash the check can cash it. Now, for a long time, Papa puts Jacob Bloom at the bottom of this. He put it there for you and Yetta to go to school. He put it there so you could have a very lovely setting. And so Yetta could have a honeymoon. He kicked maybe a little bit sometimes, but always he puts Jacob Bloom at the bottom of the check yes. so we could cash them. And now, all of a sudden, the name Jacob Bloom ain't good enough. Oh, but, Ma, it's not that. I it's ain't just finished, the... Sarah. I am coming to a climate. So J Yasha Blumikoff is dignified. It's fancy, huh? But if somebody would put Yasha Blumikoff on the bottom of the check on that little line, could you walk into the bank and say to the man, look, I got a check here with Yasha Blumikoff at the bottom. It's a very fancy name. So you should be cashing the check for me. You know what the man would say, Sarah? Well, you don't have to answer. I know what the answer is when I ask the question. The man would say, sure. The name is very fancy and very lovely. But we ain't got money to give away because you've got a fancy name at the bottom of a check. Well, I didn't look at it in quite that way, Mom. I know, darling. That's because you're young. When you get a little older, when you get as old as Pop and me, then you will look at different things in very different ways. That's why Pop and me don't mind getting old. Because we know that when we get old, we get smarter. Right. Now I'm finished and I want a drink of water. I'll get it. And, and more. Yeah. I think... I think maybe we can stop Sydney from using Yasha Blumikoff. That would please Papa. And so... Becky, Becky, you're wonderful. Jake, you ain't been listening. Listening? No, no, but you told me to lay down. Sure, I told you to do you good. It did, Mommy, it did. It did me so much good that I figured everything out. That's good, Jake, that's good. Sure. I'm sitting there with the blinds pulled with my head in my hands and I'm thinking, you know what, Becky? What, Papa? All of a sudden I'm thinking that, that I like the name of Yasha Blumikoff. Thank <laughs> you.